The cheerleaders are going to show them what good wrestling is all about. Good sportsmanship. I don't care about the glow crown. I just want the head that wears it. <laughs> this next match is a tag team spectacular. One fall, 20 minute time limit. From Philadelphia, PA, and Darianne, Connecticut, respectively, Susie Spirit and Debbie Debutante, the cheerleaders. I'm Debbie Debutante, and I fight fair, won't scratch and bite, or pull your hair. All you heels will lie and cheat, but that's okay, you'll still be beat. Oops. Bruises a gaping hole. A fight with chainsaw really takes its toll. Come wrestle with me, I'm so insane. The only sensation you'll feel is pain. I'm super heavy metal bound. When it comes to fight, I don't mess around. They say I'm evil. They call me Spike because I use my torch. Whatever I strike. Spike in the ring now. The bell. Spike across the ring attacking Susie Spirit. Spike in chainsaw fans. Too mean and they'll rough. They'll kick and they'll scream and they'll shout, but they don't like to get hurt. I don't care. It's in Susie Spirit. Ooh, a snapmare by Spike and she loves it. She puts those feet to left and the right one right on the hair of Susie Spirit and pulls her up. The motto saying break, and she's not breaking until the count of four. And there you see an example of just what I was talking about. You can't keep the cheerleaders down. Susie Spirit flying high, wrapping those feet around the head of Spike and flipping her over. Susie Spirit, ooh, flipped right over the third rope. And Spike knows she's in a battle now with a girl that's a competitor. Giving a blow to the midsection of Susie Spirit. And that's what Spike has to do to both of the cheerleaders. She's got to keep them tied up in the ropes. She's got to keep Susie Spirit close to her, either in the ropes or down on the mat. Because if you give the cheerleaders, and especially this Susie Spirit, an inch, she can fly right away, fly away from you. Going over and pushing Debbie Debutante down is Spike. She does it again. You better get back, referee. She may push you down. She pushes Debbie Debutante down a third time. Look at that tongue. Ooh, my, a kick. And I don't want to tell you where that one landed. Look at the heavy metal sisters. They love it. Debbie Debutante trying to get in and save her partner, and Spike just pulls Susie Spirit back. The wings, so to speak, have been clipped from Susie's spirit. And Spike is trying to drain all the energy from Susie's spirit. But in comes her fresh partner, Debbie Debutante. Check that out. I'm telling you, these girls can fly. You just saw it. And it antagonizes Spike and Chainsaw. Debbie Debutante says I'm sick. Debutante's midsection, but I gotta tell you, Debbie Debutante can suck it up. She's got a tough midsection. It's built like steel. Chainsaw flying Debbie Debutante around her way. Susie Spirit.
are trying to come in, fans. She's giving a little flying exhibition there. Coming down on Heavy metal is as bad at wrestling as they are ugly. They're never going to be wrestlers. Spike and chain. Ooh, a nice drop kick. You can't keep Susie Spirit and Debbie Debutante down for long. The two of them are like an act in a circus. Look at that. Debbie Debutante launches up in the air and takes Chainsaw over. Debbie Debutante and Susie Spirit. Whoa, what a drop kick there by Debbie Debutante. Check it out, man. I think Chainsaw's disgusting. I think she's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. It all. Every time they step into the ring, and there, Debbie Debutante gives Chainsaw a bit of the splits right on the back. I gotta tell you something about these heavy metal sisters fans. Their favorite singer is Ozzy Osbourne, and they were present at the concert in which Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off of that bat. And it was said that Spike and Chainsaw finished off the rest of that bat. And right now, it looks like they're going to try to finish off the cheerleaders. They're moving in on their prey. They've got that torch lit, and they've got the chain in hand. Spike going to light up the cheerleaders, and referee D'Amato moves in just in time. The cheerleader sees the opportunity, and there's some high-flying kick right to the face of Chainsaw and Spike. Chainsaw and Spike receiving the best of the high-flying cheerleaders. Chainsaw's got that cloth. She's wrapping it around the neck of Susie Spirit Spike on the outside. D'Amato trying to break up the action. Spike is grabbing the foot of Debbie Debutante. She's choking her over that rope. And yes, yeah, she's untying the shoe. Chainsaw beating up the referee, D'Amato. Susie Spirit locked in the ropes. I don't know what Spike's up to. She's grabbing the foot of Debbie Debutante. She's pulling her through the rope. D'Amato's calling for the bell as Chainsaw's beating on him. Oh, my. Spike has the toe of Debbie Debutante right in her mouth. Spike is fighting that toe. Debbie Debutante is screaming for help. D'Amato's being beaten on. He's trying to save her, and Chainsaw's keeping D'Amato back. Spike got the toe right in her mouth. D'Amato can't get it released. Here comes the Riviera Hotel security. They're bringing in the paramedics with them. Something must be wrong. Debbie Debutante's toe has not been released from the mouth of Spike. Spike must be in a catatonic state. I don't know if it's from the sweat of Debbie Debutante's toes, but she won't release the toes. 